Early Spring, 1820. A 14 year old farm boy looks for a quiet place to pray. It would be his first uttered prayer, and that prayer would change the world. Nearly 200 years later, two men, Dr. John C. Lefgren and Dr. John P. Pratt, believe they have evidence for determining the date of Joseph Smith's first vision. John Pratt is a friend of mine. He has a PhD in astronomy and has always had an interest in ancient religious calendars. I know of no one else who knows as much as he knows about these calendars. John Lefgren and I have been friends for decades now. He's, uh, he's got a PhD in economics, he's worked for the State Department, but he's just got an insatiable desire to dig deeper and to research deeply. And I'd say he's a natural researcher. Dr. Pratt's knowledge of the heavens and his expertise in the calendars of ancient cultures led him to the Lost Book of Enoch. The sacred calendar described within this book of scripture allowed Dr. Pratt to understand the nature of Enoch's famous prophecy regarding the history of the world, including the timing of the event that would open the last dispensation. Dr. Lefgren, on the other hand, was scouring old newspapers and microfilmed weather reports for research he was conducting on a book he would publish. His examination of the records led him to a startling conclusion. When it came to the first vision, there was only one day in 1820 that met all the criteria, criteria laid out by Joseph Smith himself. Some years ago, John Pratt wrote an article. And in that article, he identified a specific date for the first vision based on his calculation from the calendar of Enoch. I read that, I was very interested. I called him up and I said, I don't know how you got to that date, but I do know how to test it. I know the weather conditions for that time and that place. And if the weather wasn't lovely and beautiful, then you're wrong. Wow, it had never occurred to me that anybody was taking weather observations back in 1820 and the temperature and whether it's clear or not. And John had been aware of that for actually a decade before my paper was published. And all I could think of was, wow, I hope this turns out okay, because he could either support the data, could either support my theory or disprove it entirely. How lovely was the morning is the story of two men and their quest to determine the exact date of young Joseph's first vision. Using ancient calendars, early military weather records, Enoch's prophecy, and of all things, the traditional New England process for deriving sugar from maple trees, Dr. Pratt and Dr. Lefgren reached identical conclusions, the precise date when a young farm boy found a secluded spot in the woods near his home. How Lovely Was the Morning takes you on a journey of discovery, opening new avenues of understanding, shining new light on records, documents, and scripture. Travel with John Lefgren and John Pratt as they explore the evidence and reveal the simple truth regarding the event that launched the restoration of the gospel in these the latter days. <laughs>